Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from wartesters.com. Today we're taking a quick look at these guys right here. This is the Peak Streetball Master. It might just be the best basketball shoe specifically made for outdoors that retails for well under $100. So the traction on these guys right here is translucent. However, we have done a performance review on the shoe already over at weartesters.com. It was not done by me, but it was done by one of our testers named Brian. I think that Brian is awesome. The dude writes incredibly well. If you have not checked out his written reviews, I highly suggest doing so. But he was saying that this stuff right here worked great both indoors and outdoors, and I'm excited to try that out for myself. It should be durable as well. Like I said, this is called the Streetball Master. This is a shoe built specifically for outdoor basketball. Now the cushion, is something that I was not impressed with, at least not right now. I tried them on, they just feel kind of firm, so maybe it'll take some time to break in. But it's what Peak is calling the energy storage system. Maybe that's why they didn't feel too good upon trying, because I really didn't do anything. I was just kind of like rocking back and forth. But at the same time, it is just EVA, so I'm not expecting too much. Now the materials on these guys, I think is awesome. I can't believe the knit that they used on these. If you look on the inside of the shoe, there's nothing in there. There's not glue, there's not another layer, or anything like that. It's kind of weird, you can see through it and everything so you can actually see where the knit is structured. Meanwhile, the interior portions of the knit that are featured in this honeycomb shape seem like they're made specifically for ventilation, which is what knit was intended for in the first place. So it's interesting for me to see a brand like this release a shoe for so cheap, yet have a knit that does exactly what knit is supposed to do. And then they've added some overlays for additional support as well as durability. So at the forefoot here, you can see the fuse rand. It's rubbery. It's not really hard or anything like that. It actually moves well with the foot and then you can see where there are some flex points as well and then the heel I don't know what this stuff is it's definitely synthetic but it feels kind of like I don't know how to explain it it just it reminds me of grip tape but it's not like sandpapery if that makes any sense but that material is definitely stronger than the knit itself and it's good that it's in the back collar area because that is where you need some extra strength for containment and then the way that the midsole is sculpted it's supposed to actually keep your foot cupped in and caged upon lateral movements there is a small internal heel counter as well but I'm expecting this area right here to be really beastly as far as support. That's pretty much all I got to say about them for right now. Again, just a quick look at the shoe. They retail for 65 bucks. If you're interested in these guys, I will leave a link in the description box below from where I got them from. Again, if you're interested in a performance review, go check out weartesters.com. That link will be in the description box as well. Let me know what you guys think about them. If you've played in them, let me know your thoughts as well. I'd love to hear from you guys because again, I haven't played in them just yet. I've only tried them on and so far I'm impressed with everything but the cushion. But if you've played in them and they break in nicely, let me know. And with an insole swap, these definitely could be one of the better options for outdoor basketball. As we all know, insole swaps are a simple fix to shoes that feature, you know, moderate cushion or less than desirable cushion. So that's definitely an option for these guys. I love this upper though. I can't believe that they were able to get a knit so nice on these. But that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. Again, let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Stay tuned for a performance review in a few weeks. And until next time, guys, have a good one.